What's going on everyone? It is Yasmin Woodland and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I will be talking about some sad news that happened in Miami. A building actually partially collapsed and there's been four confirmed deaths and at least over 150 people missing after the collapse. And if you all didn't notice, I was kind of away from my channel for a few days because I was on vacation in Miami. So it's kind of crazy how all of this is happening the moment I get back from Miami from my vacation. So this is sad. A lot of people are upset. They believe that the people who are missing are probably underneath all the rubble and debris. And this is just such a tragic, um, sudden story. So I'm gonna try to read some details here. So bear with me. Um, according to a lot of news reports, once again, this building that, that was located in Surfside, Florida, just suddenly collapsed, just partially and without any sort of warning. So since this has been occurring, a lot of people have been just researching and digging up uh, a lot of reports and surveys on the infrastructure and inspection of this building. And it turns out that more and more things are coming out about this building. In 2018, there was actually a um, major issue in regards to uh, this building inspection. So they had concrete problems. A lot of concrete, a lot of water damage was also noted as well. And those things were not corrected nor um, tended to. So with that being said, it caused further problems and further issues. Now, during that 2018 inspection, a consultant actually urged managers to repair cracked columns and crumbling concrete. Now, it states that the repairs were actually underway when the building actually collapsed, okay? So I guess for me a lot, and a lot of people, they're trying to figure out, well, if these things were noted in 2018, like, hey, you're having, you know, structural damage, you're having cracked columns, you're having crumbling concrete. If that was noted in 2018, why is the work just now being done in 2021? Like, why is it take, why did it take that long, right? So this collapse is just, you know, crazy. Even in addition to that, it states that Three years prior to the collapse, they just had a lot of structural damage and they had an abundant amount of cracking and crumbling. Even the beams and the walls of the parking garage was uh, just not up to date, not up to code. And there were several reports that actually helped shape plans to actually get them better. But once again, they just had started to, you know, revamp the building and work on it when it collapsed. So a lot of people are hurting right now. A lot of families are concerned. They don't know where their loved ones are. I've been watching a lot of news updates on this situation, and it's really sad, everybody. Like, I cannot imagine being in my house or being, you know, um, in my rental or my Airbnb or whatever the case may be and having the building collapse and my family finding out that, you know, in a report a few years ago, it was actually noted that, hey, you know, you have beams that need to be fixed. You have columns that, that are cracked. You have con concrete that is not um, fully intact. And this could have been preventable in my personal opinion. I know things do happen, but it's just very sad, like, and scary because it was so sudden, right? And I don't know, everybody, please send prayers to the people that cannot locate their families. That has to be such a devastating experience and just awful. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoy my commentary, please consider subscribing. I have a great community here. Once again, I'm Yasmin Woodland, and until next time, see ya.